So Rudy Giuliani is under federal criminal investigation tied to Ukraine. His legal woes just got worse, believe it or not, leaving more questions for President Trump. A bombshell report from The Wall Street Journal unearthing private Instagram photos from Giuliani's indicted Ukrainian-linked associate, revealing deep and long-standing ties and access to Giuliani and Trump. Here is one from 2015, posing with Trump's ex-wife, Ivana, and another at a campaign event with Trump himself. This is in July of 2018. Now, this photo has him with Donald Trump Jr. Trump sent him this note, posted in August of 2018, thanking him for his, quote, friendship and dedication to his cause. And look at this one. A photo he describes as a celebration dinner snapped with Giuliani and Trump's personal lawyer, Jay Sokolow, posted one day after Attorney General Barr's infamous four-page Mueller report summary. The beat reached out to Sokolow with questions about the photo. He says he has, quote, no concerns on any exposure, but declined to elaborate any further. But all of this placing new heat on Giuliani tonight as the Justice Department distances itself from him, claiming DOJ officials were not aware of any investigation into Giuliani's associates and impeachment investigators in Congress on both sides are now calling for Giuliani to testify. I really think it's important to talk to Rudy Giuliani. So you'd AG. like him to come before the committee and answer questions? Oh, for sure. I think, I think, I think, I think okay. having a Rudy, a Mayor Giuliani come and testify is, is important. All right, with me to get into all of this, Bloomberg's Tim O'Brien and the New York Times' is Mar Margay. Margay, excuse me, sorry about that. Um, Tim, let's begin with you, if I may. What do you make of the revelation of these photos? Well, it shows that, that Giuliani and Trump have been at best disingenuous and most likely lying about the depth and the extent of the relationship with these guys. Remember, Trump said when some of these photos first surfaced that I get my photos taken with a lot of people. Right. I don't know these guys. And it's relevant because there was a conspiracy uh, at least to uh, violate campaign finance laws. There might be more involving bribery and extortion in Ukraine. So it's not just a matter of them having friends of ill repute. It's a matter of whether they had friends of ill repute who did criminal acts and did Giuliani know about it and maybe not even just knew about it. Did he help orchestrate it? Hey, let me play for you, Mara, really quickly how Trump described these associates. Watch this. I don't know those gentlemen. Now, it's possible I have a picture with them because I have a picture with everybody. I don't know them. Uh, I don't know about them. I don't know what they do. But uh, I don't know. Maybe they were clients of Rudy. You'd have to ask Rudy. I just don't know. So it's one thing to, to look at these pictures. It's another thing to see that the president actually thanked him, for, thanked them for coming uh, and being part of celebrating his cause, so to speak. It, it really, these revelations narrow that distance from the president. He's no longer at arm's length. Oh, no. I think you're going to see a lot of President Trump um, uh, disowning or trying to, to distance himself from not just um, those folks, but also potentially from Mayor Rudy Giuliani. And uh, that's, that's what happens here. I mean, the, the president really doesn't have that many options left. Mm. And I think the walls are closing in, um, especially on Rudy Giuliani. And the kind of defense that one can offer becomes more and more fantastical mm. um, as we have uh, irrefutable evidence. And we actually have White House advisors who are coming out and admitting to some of the conduct that the administration has been accused of. Like the acting chief of staff. Like the acting right. chief of staff. Um, you have, you know, the, fo the photos don't lie. Um, so I think it's going to be a harder and harder case to make, at least to the majority of the population that isn't in Trump's diehard base, that what, may be unpersuadable. What do you point. make of the fact that even Jay Sucklow, the president's personal attorney in all this, who has somewhat remained above the fray of the personal inner workings of the president. He's no Rudy Giuliani. He's always seemed to have been a loyal uh, foot soldier, legal foot soldier, if you want, for the president. But now he's pictured with these guys and he's saying he's not worried about any exposure. <laughs> I mean, I would should say, he be worried about exposure? I mean, I'm not an attorney, but right. if I were him, I would get one. I mean, anybody yeah. who's anybody who is either tangentially or directly related in this is probably going to be put under oath. Right. At a minimum, they're going to have to answer investigators' questions. So they're all exposed, and the smart ones aren't going to throw themselves under the bus to protect someone else. I think that's one of the other phenomena you're going to see in this is unlike the Mueller probe, there's lots of really ample reasons here for people to start turning on each other pretty quickly. Yeah. But I would also just say that the behavior that we're seeing right now, this defiance, yeah. is really um, just kind of 
putting that uh, test to Congress, and they're essentially daring Congress um, not to hold them accountable. One of the things that I find interesting in all this is how everyone kind of tries to say, oh, it's not me, it's Rudy. It's, it's, well, you're going to have to ask Rudy about that. Jay Sokolow, even, even Ari asked Jay Sokolow about this. Let me play you what he said about Rudy Giuliani about the whole Ukraine stuff. Watch. That was out of my jurisdiction. It wasn't anything I, I was engaged in. When did you learn that Rudy Giuliani was asking these foreign governments to investigate Joe Biden? You know, I, 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 I learned when, I guess when you did, because I was not involved. That was not in my jurisdiction. Was well, you don't know when the, I did, as you so I'm asking you when you did. You don't know when I learned it. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't know anything about it until all this got really public. I mean, I, I didn't you know any about of this it when, it, when it Ukraine. spilled into the public reporting. All right, so yeah. I mean, it's quite fascinating to see that exchange because it reveals a lot about Jay Sokolow's mindset. And like I said, you go back to what the president says. It's not me. Ask Rudy. Rudy's like, oh, it's not me. I was doing this on behalf of the State Department and Mike Pompeo. Mike Pompeo's like, I don't know what he's talking about. And now you got Jay Sokolow saying the same thing. It's like, I only found out about this in the media. What do you make of this chaos? Uh, <laughs> I think that there's a lot of attempts at distraction. Um, and trying to control a narrative uh, when the evidence suggests that where there's smoke, there's a lot of fire. Um, and I also, I really, I, I think there's something so sleazy about mm. the whole affair. And I can't help but almost get emotional sometimes thinking about um, some of these people out there supposedly representing the interests of the United States, but actually kind of selling us to the highest bidder and our allies to the highest bidder. And that's, um, if that's really what happened, that's, that's pretty disgusting. And, and what do you make of the, the way everyone's been kind of throwing the other person? Well, the I mean, look at, look at Seculo. He did not look comfortable. Yeah. He looked nervous. I don't think anybody wants to be associated with this because they know at a minimum there was an impeachable act. But the other, there's money involved in this. Mm. We, you know, we can't lose sight of the fact that while they were trying to manipulate the government of Ukraine, they also were trying to get control of the biggest gas company in Ukraine. Yeah, and there's a lot we still don't know about that piece of it. And it adds a whole nother range of incentives and problems to everything that occurred in that event. Especially with the, re the um, recalling of the ambassador. Right. Always follow the money. Always follow, follow the, money. the money. Tim follow with Ryan Margay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here. Or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us and we appreciate that.